fluorescent tubes, we witness the precision choreography needed using mercury, phosphorus and a blowtorch. In 1840, gaslight was the first form of artificial lighting, until 40 years later when Thomas Edison invented his light bulb. In 1909, the Frenchman Georges Claude developed the fluorescent tube and its design has stayed unaltered to this very day. The production of fluorescent strip lighting is highly complex and mechanical choreography will ensue to meld, fuse, bend, paint and solder. The process starts with glass tubes that have been meticulously cleaned with warm water to remove dirt and impurities. Then the tubes have to be specifically shaped. They're heated for 30 seconds then quickly curved using a template. This automated machine can bend 14 tubes in a minute. The bent tubes go into the coating chamber, where a thin coat of phosphorus is applied to the inner surfaces. It's phosphorus which produces light by transforming ultraviolet generated by the ionization of mercury, but that comes later. Then, the surplus phosphorus is removed from the ends of the tube so that they can be sealed later. Next comes the electrical components. The cathode device is made in a machine called an auto-mount. This wiring will carry the current. The wire carrying the current is shaped, then precisely heated. This prepares it for the next step, since it's essential to prevent the cathode coating from spreading to the prongs. The filaments are inserted into their mounts. An emissive substance is crucial in the process. This liquid, when heated, emits electrons which participate in producing light. The wiring mount is transferred from the auto mount to the sealing machine. At this stage, the mount and the glass tube are finally joined. Sealing is done at a very high temperature. One important process remains. This is where the glass tube is emptied of air and filled with gas. This machine also decarbonizes the tube and introduces the vital drop of mercury, essential for producing light. Once the drop of mercury is injected into the tube, the production process for making the fluorescent lamp is now nearing completion. Lastly, this threader positions the wires for insertion of the tube cap, which serves to establish electrical contact. The tube cap is placed into position. The cap must not only be securely attached, but it must also be airtight to eliminate any risk of leaking. The capper permanently seals the cap onto the tube, and it's finished. Each lamp is tested on a dramatic looking testing wheel to verify its quality. And once the meticulous inspection is over, the fluorescent lamps are carried on to the packing department. It's a process which requires dexterity and precision. Mercury, phosphorus and blowtorches fashion a device that hasn't changed in almost 100 years.